Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the garage. Today, I'm going to talk to you about some of the Steiner attachments that are no longer made. What I have in front of me here is an original sales brochure from 2004. So we're just going to run through and I'm going to cover some of the tractors and some of the stuff. Uh, the majority of the stuff in this is no longer manufactured. Uh, but just kind of want to cover what is out there, maybe on the used market or if you were looking for an attachment you didn't know Steiner made, you might be able to track it down. So the first thing we have is freaking awesome. This is the UM428. So this was Steiner's like all-purpose large utility vehicle. It had a dump box on the back that was hydraulic. Uh, it was operated in a front position, meaning in front of the articulation, unlike all the other models. And just a neat machine. I've seen one in person. Uh, you could get a cab for them. I've seen it with the cab on. Uh, much larger than you would think. They came with a diesel option and a gas option. Uh, brand new, you're talking $26,000 in 2004. Um, if you can find them on the used market, they still do fetch a, a pretty big penny. So be prepared to pay, but probably one of the neatest machines Steiner ever made. Next, you have the 425 model. So this model was also a what I'll call a larger model. Um, it is no longer produced either. Uh, it was marketed directly towards municipalities, golf courses, uh, landscapers, people that have a larger operation that would be using this daily uh, for extended periods of time. Uh, strictly a commercial grade machine. Next you have the 430. This is what I have. And this is a good mix between residential and commercial. Uh, it was offered with Many, many different motor options from Kubota gas to Kubota diesel to Onin. Um, all of the attachments would work on it. And this was probably the most popular model uh, that Steiner had sold. Next, you had the 410. Uh, the 410 was strictly a residential model. So you're only going to see your homeowner using this. It was only marketed to you know, small jobs. You're not going to be on a commercial basis. You're not going to be using this machine every day. Next, you had the 230. So the 230 was pretty much a large mower. Um, it was a rear steer, uh, motor mounted in the rear, and Steiner had it on the market pretty much to compete with the Jacobsons and the, the Bobcats and the other front mow uh, mowers. Primarily for golf courses, although you would see it at race tracks with the uh, the blower option on it, or um, landscapers would use them. Then you have the zero turns. Most people didn't know that Steiner did dabble in zero turns for a while. You have the ZTM three twenty five, ZTM three twenty, and three twenty two. Different size motors, different options, uh, different size decks. I'm not sure 100% if Steiner actually produced these. I think they had another company making them for them under the Steiner name. Then you go into their utility vehicles. Most people don't realize that Steiner had actual uh, utility vehicles. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that they were made for Steiner by EasyGo. Um, this is the ST480. And then you also had the ST350. And then the 1200, which was pretty much a golf cart with a dump box on the back. Now we're going to get into the attachments. And this is the really cool part. Steiner made a ton of attachments. Now Steiner has been sold a few times over the years. So some of these or most of these attachments are not manufactured anymore. Um, here's the actual. It shows every attachment. And then it's going to show the model of tractor that it would work with. Um, Steiner tried to market this to be extremely versatile, buy one tractor, uh, be able to do everything. As we cover these attachments, you're going to kind of see that. So we start out in the turf maintenance. So you do have a couple different finish mowers. Um, then you have the flip up mower, finish mower. Then we're going to go into, and these are actually beside each other. This is going to be your rough cut mower. They call it a tree farm mower. It's a 48 inch mower. It has two blades. And then you have your large rough cut mower. This has three blades on it, uh, chopping blades, and it is a 70-inch width. Extremely heavy mower. I've used one of them. 
Uh, even with a full weight kit on the back, you can barely lift it. You also have your disc edger. Moving down, you do have a reel mower. Uh, that got you out either the 74-inch or the 84-inch reel mower. Those were obviously marketed to golf courses. Two types of aerators. So you had your regular aerator with weights on it, and then actually had a roller wheel on the back. And then you had a plug aerator. Uh, and they had a stand they would flip down to hold. So you, you could uh, attach and disconnect it and not have to worry about how you hold it up. Uh, then you had your boom mower, kind of a really neat attachment there. You could do like uh, ditches or hillsides. It was hydraulic up and down. Most people don't know they made a granular spreader that could mount on either the front or the back of the Steiner. Moving into snow removal stuff, obviously the snow blower. Now that snow blower has been disconnect or dis discontinued. I apologize. And it has been replaced with a new model. Uh, I have a video on that model if you check out my other videos. Snowplow blade that was available in a 36, a 48, and a 60. Most people didn't know you could also get a ripper edge for it if you want to move dirt around or rip up roots. Sweepers, so you have two sweepers. One was hydraulically driven and the other one was belt driven. I cover that in one of my videos. And V plow, I also cover that in one of my videos. Probably one of the uh, best plows I've ever used. Moving on to ground engagement, you have a tiller. You have the slip scoop with optional tooth bar. You have the power rake, which would level your driveway. Uh, most people didn't know they had a ver vertical auger or post hole digger, kind of neat. Uh, they had a bunch of different attachments you could get 9, 12, 16, or 18 inch width. They did have a loader. Uh, the effective capacity, they say, is 365 pounds, but they don't recommend using much more than 200 pounds Uh you get more than 200 pounds in that loader. I've, I've used one with the, the tires that Steiners have, the big balloon tires. It, it gets pretty hairy. Stump cutter or grinder, very neat attachment. Removable teeth, so when they dull, you can actually put new teeth on or sharpen them. Uh, trencher, the Tierra rake. And then moving over, you have the power blower. I will have a video of that. I have the power blower. I love it. You can blow either forward or back. Then the turbine blower, very neat attachment, very expensive. You see these used on golf courses or actually race tracks. Um, very neat blower, very hard to find. Not many were sold or made. And then you have the machinery mover. It was just a hitch that you could uh, put on the front and move your trailers around. Uh, 10,000 watt generator, kind of neat if you were out in the woods or wanted, wanted to get off the beaten path. You could hook down the front of your Steiner and take it there on the Steiner and be able to use it pallet mover i've never seen these in person love to have a set uh there were not many made very hard to find uh just a neat little forks you could pick up and move stuff around if you needed chipper shredder with blower optional so the optional blower let me see if i can move this over here and show you so the optional blower is this piece right here you could actually pull your dump trailer up Leave this hooked up to the Steiner, load your branches in. It would chop them up and then shoot it up out this chute and fill up your dump trailer. Very, very neat. The lawn sweeper, a couple videos of that on YouTube. Check it out. So that actually has a chopping or, or a reduction to it. I, I believe it's 1 to 16, something like that. So it'll actually chop up your leaves and compact them. You're able to get a ton of leaves or grass in that. Passive sweeper, I've never seen it. But literally, it's like a broom for your garage, except it mounts on the front of a Steiner. And then, last but not least, we have the drift sprayer. Kind of a neat attachment. There's a few videos on YouTube about it. It's going to keep the material only going onto the grass or lawn. Um, it has a rubber skirting around it that falls down. So, again, it only sprays and puts it right onto the lawn. Very neat. You don't get any overspray. Some other attachments or accessories they had. Obviously, you had a cab. They had a cab for the 430. I have a video on that. They have a cab for the 425. They have a cab for the 230. They also had a cab um, for the 428, although they don't display it here. Canopies, front fenders, those were disconnect, discontinued. Uh, I'm told that Steiner has since brought them back. You have roll bars, the dual wheel kit, the utility box, that was really neat. I actually had one of those. You would pull the weights off of your weight bar and lock that uh, utility box on. It dumped. It was very, very nice. Uh, I ended up not needing it when I switched out to the three-point hitch, uh, but very cool 
attachment that you don't see very often. Obviously, there were different rear weight setups that you'll need for your decks. And last but not least in the brochure, they talk about the quick, quick hitch system, how it works. You just pull up, lock the handle in, and then put the belt over the drive pulley. So those are the accessories and attachments, some specs on the back. Again, this is an original sales brochure from 2004. I hope that gives you an idea of some of the attachments that you could get for these machines. Like I said, most of them are not manufactured anymore, so you're going to have to find them in a uh, used capacity. But there are many good dealers out there in the United States that still have them. Thanks for stopping by, and until next time, at the garage.